Let's walk through the implementation of a typical to-do list application. First, we'd listen for the inner key on the text input, appending a list item containing a text box and span to the unordered list. When that checkbox is checked, we cross out the text in its sibling span. To compute the number of unfinished tasks, we count up the number of unchecked checkboxes. We do this whenever a checkbox changes value. Finally, we wrap the to-do list in the jQuery plugin and define the markup it should be initialized against. Only three lines of JavaScript, not bad. However, notice the boilerplate. We have to produce a piece of HTML as well as a JavaScript constructor call, and maybe some CSS to make everything look good. That's a lot of code, especially if we intend it to be used in multiple places. Furthermore, notice that in the code, we never spoke of the concept of a task or a list of tasks. It was sufficient and easy to just reason in terms of DOM nodes and their, and their events. While this keeps the line count down, it prevents us from building up domain abstractions. Now, what if, instead of wiring an event on the text field, we specify in the HTML that it should call a function on, on keyup that adds a hash to the tasks array? What if it were sufficient to just specify that the value of the checkbox should be the same as the value of the finished key on the relevant hash? What if we can declaratively map the tasks array to accounts and have it automatically update? And what if the task list were its own HTML tag and we could actually do all of this? We present WHTML, a framework for building reusable UI components, widgets, and thinking about them as ordinary HTML elements. A widget is a JavaScript class with an associated HTML template and a list of attributes that, when updated, update the HTML. When the HTML is updated via user interaction, the attributes are similarly updated. All the developer sees is the widget, allowing him to treat it as an ordinary HTML element. When using widgets in the templates of other widgets, attributes can take variable names as values. Whenever either copy of the variable is updated, the other is updated automatically. Bindings can also be declared with one or two way mapping functions. Going back to our example, here's what the task list widget template would look like. Notice the variable bindings highlighted in red. And here's the actual widget class. The framework is implemented on top of the Ember.js MVC framework, which provides a templating language and jQuery extensions. We use the treetop context-sensitive parser to translate widget tags into that templating language. And file management is handled by the Rails asset pipeline. Thanks. For more info, check out our repo, linked in the description.